Hi everybody, it's Lisa Murray here and I wanted to talk to you a little bit before you watch this next episode. I do touch on suicide and I want to give you a disclaimer because I want to make sure that you keep the littles away if you're not interested in having that conversation. So just wanted to give you a really quick little update that although this, this episode is about making terrariums, I do mention my nephew and give you guys a link out to the hotline for suicide. So just wanted to disclaim that. We'll see you guys on this episode. Hi everybody, it's Elisa Murray here. We're doing another DIY and I want to show you these terrariums. I've been working on them for a little bit. As you can see, I've already started a few of them and they're just so cute and so easy to do and one of those things that you would really maybe want to include the children on. And so I want to share with you this first one that we're looking at here. This one I've actually pretty much finished. I bought these bottoms with these glass toppers, which are here and I got them from the local craft store and then I went to one of the dollar stores and actually found this little archway which for those of you who are in the studio and our studio clients will know we have several of these in the garden I've always had these in the garden so this kind of reminds me of a miniature version of our outdoor studio and so they're really easy to do you get the dirt that you need to use for succulents and of course you know I've got succulents over here and I'll show you how to make that in a second but you just put dirt in the bottom and then you can find on the internet these cute little mushrooms. You can also find them at the craft store as well. Um, and just sort of keep your eye out for things as you see them and then pick them up and then you and the kids can spend an afternoon making something that's really cute for the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this one off so that we can get these guys finished up for the video. You get that little leaf in there. And you just sink it down in there like that. All right, so that's the first one. So this one right here, you'll notice, is white and gray. And that's the way that these guys came from the craft store. And for those of you guys that know me, y'all know that I do not like um, white and gray very much. But I made this one first. And so then after I made it and saw how cute it was and thought it would be such a great idea for us to make for the YouTube channel. And not only that, a great project for you guys to make with the children. Because this is so much fun. It's just so easy. And it includes, you know, real life plants. So they have to take care of it. So it's a nice way of giving them something to do where they have a little project that they make and then they have to actually maintain that project. So that's kind of cool too. But anyway, this is the one that I made first and you'll notice that there's little birds here. I found the little birds online. I found the bird bath at the local craft store. And the thing about the birds, I don't know if you're familiar with this, um, this old saying, is that the cardinals that are in your garden actually represent those of your family members who've passed away. So if you've got cardinals in your yard, that's a good, uh, sign to just, I guess it's just a little nice thing to just have in your mind about, you know, the people that you have that are still dear to you that aren't here anymore. But I did take my hot glue gun and I glued a little cardinal on there and I glued a little pairing of birds, which kind of, um, for me anyway, remind me of mommy and daddy. So I've got this little setup here and I'm going to take the top on this one. And as we go, I'm just going to keep putting the tops on them so that we can kind of finish them up and you can see. But I wanted you to be able to see all the different designs that I've done so that you can see there's so many varieties that you can make. Like the first one I showed you has got the little ladybug. It's also got um, the cute little mushrooms and of course that little garden um, archway. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your uh, base of your container and you don't need to worry about it not having any drainage in it because these are succulents and you're gonna have the glass top on it and you're gonna to need to spray it with water every so often and that will keep it moist in there and you're not gonna flood it anyway. So you're not gonna to have to worry about your plants dying. You do need to spray it, take the top off. That's the other reason why I like this design is that a lot of terrariums that you make and when I was a child, we would make them, they were where you had to stick your hand all the way in there and you had to use toothpicks or scissors or something to pick stuff up and move stuff around. And the design of this is just really outstanding because you can just get it off and work on it and fix it and tweak it and then put the thing back on. And I'll show you a cool idea that I had that it's just really the perfect topper for this as well, but completely different from what you know you would normally expect. But anyway, I went ahead and put in the dirt and this dirt, like I said before, is dirt specifically formulated for succulents. And I've got my succulents here and I've got lots of different succulents. And I'm gonna pull a couple of pieces out of their dirt and I'm gonna embed them in to the actual dirt that's in here. And you know, you can pick up moss, you can pick up little flowers. A lot of this stuff you can find online. Um, the succulents I found at the local hardware store. They're about $3 a piece, which is kind of expensive, but if you're only gonna do one or two of these, 
it would be a neat, like I said, a really neat project for the children to do um, just because this is just something so simple for them to make and it's something fun for them to take care of. So it's just an easy project. So I'm gonna get that little guy in there. And then I don't know if you can see, but I have like, these little flowers that I just, they're plastic and they're part of what I found online as well. And I'm just taking them and kind of laying them in there. And then y'all know how fond I am of my cats. And so I've been working on trying to find the cats. And I went online and I found two little kittens that look like Sasha and Angie. And these girls are porcelain. And they're, they're not easy to find because whenever you find the cats online, they don't always have the prettiest faces. But these little girls actually did have really sweet faces. And so I went ahead and purchased these. I'm still looking for those that will represent William. And um, unfortunately, our cat ninja passed away last week. And I'm going to do one for ninja as well. But this is now a completed version three of a terrarium. And I don't want to add anything else in here because I want the focus to be on the kittens. The one thing that you might think about doing is, and I've done a little bit of it already, grab some moss. And I bought a packet that has all different kinds of textures to it. And this one I'm actually just using the, main, the plain green. But take a little bit of moss and sort of sprinkle that in there so it looks like the girls are playing in the grass and the flowers. So isn't that sweet? This is so sweet. So after doing this, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to spray it down just a little bit because you did just plant flowers. And so you don't want those flowers to freak out because they just got moved into a different space to, to, to grow. But you wanna just spray them in like you would if you're planting something in the garden. And then after you do that, you just put the little topper on there. And there's a third one that we've just made. And they really are so sweet. So there's the girls. So I'm gonna move this one over here so you can see that. They're just really precious. So this last one that we're gonna to make today is really special for our family. And for many of you, you know that my nephew Jennings killed himself about four years ago next month. And whenever he passed away at the funeral in North Carolina, there was this yellow butterfly that was following us everywhere we went. And then as we were driving back through the country, um, from North Carolina down to Texas, we would stop at rest stops in different places to spend the night. And everywhere we went, there was a yellow butterfly, everywhere we went. And at one rest stop, there was actually a butterflies that were just flying all around and swarms. And it was almost like mommy and daddy were there with Jennings and they were just trying to get our attention. And then as soon as we acknowledged that they were there, they would just fly off. So many years after that, probably two years after that, we were in the Dominican Republic and we were there during the Christmas season and there are butterflies that do fly into the Dominican over the sea, but they don't come till March, and we were there in December. And we were in the middle of the ocean with these gorgeous starfish and this clear blue water, and out of nowhere, there was this yellow butterfly that was just following us and flying around our heads. And so every time that I'm in the garden these days, when I'm taping for the YouTube channel, there's not a day usually that goes by that I don't see a yellow butterfly. When we were in Jamaica last year, we would be driving around looking at the resorts and featuring all those different resorts in my columns, and we would see butterflies everywhere we went. And they're always yellow, and they're always very specific and persistent about getting our attention. Something like Christopher Thomas, I mean, not Christopher Thomas, but William is doing right now, my cat, which y'all know about as well. Apologize for that, but that's just part of working from home. But anyway, um, and so what I did was I looked and looked and looked to see if there was something that I could find to do this terrarium with that would remind me of Jennings. And what I found was just this precious little um, bird bath, and it happened to have on it a yellow butterfly. And so this particular terrarium is gonna be for him. What I wanna do is I wanna fill this full of the flower, not the flowers, but full of a lot of greenery um, so that it's got that feel to it with him kind of in the forest that he loves so much in the mountains of North Carolina. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the dirt and fill that in the bottom like I've just done. And I'm gonna come over here and grab a lot more than normal for a terrarium of these different succulents. And I'm trying to pick the taller ones because I want them to resemble trees more so than just little plants and stuff. So I'm gonna put them in here and they're really easy. They don't, they don't take a lot of 
adjustments to get them in there. You just have to make sure that you've got enough dirt to give them a little bit of root and footing. And I'll put some here. Oddly enough, you know, each of these guys can be made for something special for your family. So if you've got, I don't know, um, the kids are loving planting vegetables in the garden. They have really cool um, garden type accessories at the craft stores that have like little wheelbarrows and little other stuff like that that's garden related. They also have a lot of gnomes and fairies and that's sort of expected, I think. Whenever you think about a terrarium, you kind of think about gnomes and fairies. But for me, I wanted our terrariums to really be reflective of something that was important to us. And that's why I chose the archway and the cardinal and the kitty cats and of course the yellow butterfly for Jennings. If you guys know anybody that you think is struggling with um, mental health, I want to also direct you to the National Hotline. I've got the number written down. I'm going to read it off to you. It's 1-800-273-8255. It's real important, especially whenever you've got somebody in your family that you, you don't know what's going on in their head space, that you, if you feel like there's something wrong, that you can get them some help because we had no idea anything was wrong. And it's not something that you can ever come back from. It's something that we'll always have in our family. And, um, and it's always a struggle. Birthdays and Christmases, and that's something that people don't think about whenever they take their life, is that the family members are always going to have that. Um, they never get over it. So it's, um, it's real important for you to make sure that you get people the help that they need. And... Um, I think that that looks just perfect. We want it to be very, very heavy with greenery. And so I'm gonna set down in that middle of this little area, that sweet little bird bath with that sweet little butterfly right there. And see if I can find just one more, maybe one more little plant kind of here in the bed, maybe another one. I like the way these guys look because they're um, low to the ground. So you get a little bit more of a dimension there when you do that. I'm gonna make sure that this little bird bath is sunk down in there good so it sits up right. There we go. And then I'm gonna spray it down like I did the others before. Make sure everybody's roots get some water because they've got to get used to their new home. And I probably would do this maybe once a week. I feel that little bird bath too. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. All right. So now that I've done that, I want to put the top on it. And be real careful because these guys have got more than the norm in there. Set that down on top, just like that. And these succulents will grow up, and so eventually this will be full, and I'll have to do some clearing in here, kind of like you clear cut the forest, which that would have been something that he would have done. Um, the thing that I want to show you that I figured out how to do at the very end of this project was I wanted to top these guys. And oftentimes you'll see in a terrarium where people will put a cork on the top or they'll put a top on the top. And actually they'll just take like a regular glass jar and they've got a glass topper on there. And you want to have the moisture stay in there. And so there's always going to be a little bit of a leak in these particular uh, designs because the tops do come off. But the the reality is, is that it's so easy to work on them and change them out and fix them. It's worth it to have to deal with that. But what I found was these little wooden uh, bolts and I found them on the internet and they're the wide size. They're like little peanut and little like candy snack bowls and they fit perfectly on top. And I thought that that was a nice look to finish this off with. So I've got four of those guys 
and that's it. All you do is just keep your eyes out for some really fun things that are a part of your family, cats and birds and garden stuff, and of course, uh, this yellow butterfly for our family. But this is an easy project to do with the kids. It's an easy thing that you can continuously change out if you wanted to. You could even do something that has a theme on it. Um, and I'm thinking maybe during the holidays, get some itty bitty uh, red ribbons and tie the little red ribbons around the kitty cat's um, neck and maybe change out those spring flowers and summer flowers for maybe some holly and some berries. Um, and maybe even do another one and put a little itty bitty Christmas tree in there and have maybe if I can find at that point a little black cat for Ninja, him in Santa's sleigh, something really cute. So they really have a lot of options and what's neat is that they're alive. And so it gives the children and yourself something really cool to take care of. If you guys have found any value in this video, uh, please uh, like and share it and don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified when we do another DIY. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one. It's been really wonderful for me to show it to you. I've been working on it for quite a while to get everything together so I can show it to you. And for me, they're just really special. It's probably one of my favorite DIYs that I've done so far for the YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you soon.